Most of you all know what a shortened URL is. You take a long link and shrink it into a smaller and shorter link that redirects back to the long link using a shortening website service such as tinyurl.com. And you can actually track and analyze your own links to see how many people click on it per day, what country they're from, how effective it is, and other statistics. But you never know where people shorten URLs link you to. So first I'm going to show you how you can trace a URL and see where it links to and verify whether the site is safe or not. So on my website, if you just click cool stuff in the menu, and then you just scroll down to the bottom, I have a little URL checker right here. You just paste in any shortened URL, click submit. And then there you go, it tells me it goes to YouTube so I know it's safe and that, that short URL is okay and everything. So it verifies what link it redirects to. So now I'll show you how to track and analyze a shortened URL. And you do this using free URL shorteners. Now a popular one is tinyurl.com, but with that you cannot track stats. So I'm going to show you some ones that you can. Now with all these you do need to sign up for a free account and log in. I'm already logged in on all of them and it's really easy to do. So, the first one is bit.ly, it's popular, you've probably heard of it, and with bit.ly you just enter your link here, shorten it, create a custom name, and then you're done. Now, under here, under history, it shows you the current one I have, which is my cash crate link. It tells you two people have clicked on it, it was created the 19th, so we, let's click on info some, for some more stats. So here you go, you can see my stats, it goes to my cash crate, here's the name of the link. As you can see, it's bit.ly slash this, this um, auto-generated one, but you can create a custom-named one. You can make a custom name such as click here now or whatever. Then you can see it tells me two people from the United States have clicked on it. Here's the date, October 24th. It'll even tell you the time it's been clicked on and stuff like that. So that's bit.ly to track your stats with. The next one is called cli.gs. This is my favorite one. Just call it clicks, basically. So with clicks, you just log in. Let's click on my clicks. After you create a click, you would create it right here, type it in, and click create new one, give it a name, do whatever. Then you're going to have it right here. So this is my current one, cashcrate.com. It's called money, so it's clicks slash money, and it redirects to cash crate. It was created, this is the timestamp, and it has 87 hits. 87 hits means that's how many times it's been clicked on. Now to get more in-depth uh, stats, under admin, you click this little bar graph. Okay, this is really cool. You guys are going to like this. See, look at this. All these red countries are the ones that it's been clicked on. People from these countries have clicked on it. Five from India, one from Norway, 35 from the U.S. It tells you all these cool stats. I really like this one. It even has this little graph here of the time and stuff. So, yeah, and you can edit the click. Go to edit. And you can change the link. You can change the title, the, the custom link that, that it uh, is shortened for. You can delete it and whatever. So that's click. Let's go to the next one, Bud URL. This is another cool one, so let's go to my Bud URLs. Okay, so this is the current one I have. It's only one, EasyFastCash, BudURL.com slash EasyFastCash. It li links to my cash crate, and it has one click, the date it was created, and let's go to the more in-depth stats. So you click on, I believe it's this one, yeah, this little bar graph here. Okay, now my favorite thing about Bud URL, of course, I don't know why you'd need it except for the fact you would know um, if how many clicks are from the same people. It tracks the IP address of the person who clicked on it. So the one click, it tells me the IP address of the, of the person, which is me. It tells you the IP host, basically Comcast, SBC, AT&T, and this is awesome. It even tells you the browser they were using. It, so I was using Firefox. Isn't that awesome? And it has your little timestamp here. So yeah, so it tells you the IP and everything like that. So let's go click on this pencil. You can reset the clicks, so it'll go back down to zero clicks and restart counting. You can change the link it goes to, the custom name, and uh, yeah. So that's Bud URL. Next one is Trim, T-R-I-T-R.I-M, just call it Trim. Now this used to be my favorite one, but I stopped using it because a lot of times it had too many people on it and the servers couldn't, couldn't handle it so the links wouldn't work. So I just switched over. But here's the link I have, my cash crate link. It's called Fast Money, so it, it would be tr.im slash fast money. Six clicks. You can edit it. Let's click on the stats. It tells you, this is cool, this is why I like trim. It tells me one bot has clicked on it. Bots are basically just to check where this uh, link goes to. So one person, one robot has clicked on it. Five humans, a total of six. So one person from Thailand, a couple from the United States. Tells me how long ago the people clicked on it. Um, let's see where else. 
And then again, you can reset the, so we click refresh, you can reset the stats to zero, so it will reset set the stats kind of like bud URL can do. And then you can delete it and whatever else like that. And to create a new link, you just paste the URL right here, make a custom name, and skip the privacy code. That's basically a password for it. And then you just click that. So yeah, you guys, those are my f one, two, three, four favorite URL trackers that analyze and track stats. Basically what you would use this for. So say I have this banner on the front page of my site, and it goes to my Twitter. I want to see how many people are actually clicking it and how effective it is. So I can use like one of these websites and make it link to that so it'll tell me how many people are clicking this and following me because of this banner so I can track the stats and how popular it is and stuff like that. I also have a website in the description with the top five URL trackers most of which I just reviewed in this video and remember I'm also on Twitter now so follow me on Twitter all the links will be in the description to the right thanks for watching